I'm going to read in the book of Genesis 14. We'll extract from verse 18 to 20. It reads as follows. Then Mechizedek, king of Salam, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. Amen. Amen. So this is uh, when Abraham was blessed by King Hezekiah. So as we know, Abraham was the first person from the Bible who gave and God blessed him. As we know that Abraham is the father of all nations because he was the first person that God blessed. And also because he was also faithful to God with everything that he had. God blessed him and multiplied everything for him. So I've, I'm, I'm, reading, I'm reading in this verse so that you will also understand that why is the tithing so important? Because from tithing, that's where our blessings are. That's where God tends to see we tend to see our needs. Amen. Amen. So when Abraham was blessed and also God saw that also Abraham gave faithfully, also Abraham gave wholeheartedly. God bless him also because of that. Amen. Amen. So it is important to also give wholeheartedly. When we are tithing our 10%, we also need to give with all of, with, 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 our, with, whole, with our hearts open so that when God looks at our hearts, he will be able to see that we are giving with all of our hearts. Amen. Amen. I'm going to also touch touch uh, about uh, offering. So we're going to open uh, in the verse of Second uh, Corinthians. We'll extract from verse nine to seven. Amen. So here we are talking about uh, giving. So. It talks about a cheerful giver. So it reads as follows. So let each one give as he possesses in his heart, not gradually or of necessity. Of God loves a, a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. So when I look at uh, what 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 is what offering means or what what giving means, so it means that uh, one it's the one who makes an offer to another person. So a person who's making an offer or who who is giving is the offer, and a person who's receiving. The, the offering is called the offering. Amen. Amen. So when we, 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 we're reading this verse from verse 7 to, to verse, yes, from verse 7. When we read, so let each one give. So God here is saying that each and every person must give and when you give your heart must be open you mustn't have 
anything that that is in your heart that that is is suppressing your heart that is making your heart not to be not to be able to to to, to give cheerfully so when you give you need to be a happy person you need to give wholeheartedly so that when god looks at your heart will be happy amen amen and it, it reads as follows no gradually or necessity for god loves a cheerful giver amen so when we read into this verse it means that everything starts from the heart everything starts from the heart because if if i remember in jeremiah 29 verse 13 it says you will seek me and find me and when you seek me with all your hearts amen amen so if, if we seek god with all of our, of our hearts that means that's where everything is found so that's why god looks at a person's heart so if your heart is not happy if you have a grudge with someone it would show it will it will show by the way you talk to people it will show by the way you are giving as well because you won't give the best amen amen so god loves a cheerful giver amen. so when you give you must give wholeheartedly children of god amen amen so if also we read from proverbs 23 verse 26 it says my son give give me your heart and let your eyes observe observe my ways amen so it also says when you give god wants us to give our hearts first God wants us to give our hearts first in whatever we do. Our hearts should come first. Amen. We must be happy first in our hearts in order for us to give cheerfully. Because a person cannot give wholeheartedly if you, if you have something in, in your heart. People, they will see that, no, this person got some issues. This person has some burden in her, in her life. This person, there's something that is troubling him or her. Amen. Amen. So it is very important that when we give, we give wholeheartedly. It doesn't matter who you give to. So when you give to a people that, to a person that doesn't have anything, give wholeheartedly. Don't expect anything in return. Amen. Amen. If you are giving to the poor, you must give wholeheartedly. Don't expect anything to be returned to you. Because in whatever that we do, our hearts must be clean. Our Amen. hearts mustn't have any crutches. Our hearts must be open. Our hearts must be pure amen amen so when when god looks at our hearts we'll be able to bless us when god look as look at look at what we are giving will be happy with us amen amen because uh, children of god some of the blessings that god supposed to bless us with we are not receiving them because our hearts they are not open Amen. we have things in our hearts we have issues in our hearts we're holding grudges into our hearts so how can god blesses you if you have something into your heart it's like when you have something into your heart 
you have something into your hand how can someone give you something if you have something in into your hand amen amen you need to let go into what what is is into your hand in order for you to receive what a person wants to give you amen you cannot receive something on top of what you are holding you need to let go what's in your heart in order for you to open a space for 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 another blessing amen so that's how god operates we need to open our hearts children of god amen the world now is changing it's because of people's hearts it's because of the way our hearts they are operating it's because we don't have the fruit of the spirit because some of the fruits of the spirit they require us for us to show into the world so if as the children of god we don't have the fruits of the spirit how can we give wholeheartedly how can we help our neighbors how can we help those who are in need mm. so it starts with you and me Amen. it starts with our hearts so we need to open our hearts for you to be able to understand the principle of tithing it needs to start with your heart Amen. it needs to start with your heart then you will have an understanding what god wants to do into your life you need to have an understanding about the the 10 percent mm. about that 10 fruits mm. That is not for you. It belongs to God. Amen. It's not for you. It's for God to plant back into your life. It's for God to be able to invest back into your life. So that God will remember you. Amen. So that God's hand will be upon you in wherever you go, in wherever you are and also your name will be remembered into this life even if you are no more amen amen so children of god we need to give we need to give wholeheartedly i know what i'm talking about it's one of the topics that we we don't touch as pastors we don't touch as children of god but we need to touch upon this topic because we need the knowledge of God. We need to grow as children of God. We need to understand the kingdom of God. We need the blessings of God to be upon us. Amen. Amen. Because if we don't have such knowledge, we are being destroyed. We are being destroyed Amen. because everything that we have, it comes from God. The wisdom comes from God. The knowledge comes from God. The understanding of the word comes from God. Amen. So by us applying the word of God and practicing it and learn from it, that means God will bless us. Amen. Amen. So, another point that I'm going to touch up, 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 upon is serving God. We need to serve God. God sometimes doesn't need our money. He needs us as human beings. He needs our physique. <laughs> he needs us to do things for him 
if we look at uh, from Genesis, God worked. God created earth. God created life. God created you and me. So from the, 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 the Genesis 2 verse 3, that's where that's where we read about uh, God's creation. So God himself worked. So we need to learn from that as well. If our own father was able to create heaven and earth and also give us life, who are we not to give ourselves to God? Amen. Amen. And also in John 5, verse 16, Jesus worked. Jesus worked. Jesus came into this world to give us life. He gave himself. He did the work. He did, the, the, he did everything that God wanted him to do. Amen. 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 And also in Genesis 2, verse 15, Adam, Adam was created by, by God. God gave him the, the, God gave him the Garden of Eden. So in the Garden of Eden, God trusted him to look after it. So in other words, Adam was serving God mm. by looking after the Garden of Eden. Amen. That's why I'm saying that God sometimes doesn't need our finances, doesn't need us to give our money to Him, doesn't need us to 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 to, to, to give, like as in uh. The, the, the money. God need us as human being. We need to offer ourselves as human being to God. Amen. Because if we do something that we love at church, if you, you worship for God, you are doing what you love. It's a way of honoring God. It's a way of saying to God, God, thank you for the life that you have given me. God, I surrender myself to you. I'm saying thank you by me worshiping you to you. Amen. Amen. So we should, as children of God, find ways of giving back to God, not only by, by offering, not only by giving back to the poor, but even by offering the service to God at church where the service is needed. It's one of the ways that we are offering to God. Amen. Amen. So, children of God, as I'm about to close, we must all remember that God wants us to do the right things in front of his eyes. God wants us to do everything according to his law. As I've said with the title, we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I hope each and every one of you children of God will learn from this message and also will start to practice what, what God wants us to do. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for, for listening to me. I hope you are blessed. Please tune in tomorrow, same time at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you for a wonderful word that you have given us, mighty God. We thank you, mighty God, for your word. 
that I've touched your people with. I hope, oh Lord, that you're going to touch each and everyone's heart. I thank you, oh Lord, also that your people from this word, they're going to learn from it and they're going to practice what you need them to do. And there will be change in people's lives and people's lives will be changed, mighty God. Amen. Amen.